a lot of festivals on the go and we're hoping that all together now will become a tradition for people that come this summer. As you can see, the, the site's absolutely stunning and one of the main things that makes this unique is this is the first event of this size here, which has happened in 800 years. The previous owner, the former Lord of Waterford, was quite reserved in terms of opening it up to the public. Lord and Lady at the moment are very uh, keen to create a further the legacy of Curragmore. It's been 18 months, give or take a few, in, in the pipeline. I think the biggest challenge is the audience we're trying to cater for expect things at a really high standard. So it means if our music lineup is deemed extremely good, we feel everything needs to be done to that standard. One of the key tenets of All Together Now is sustainability. So there's a number of different ways we're doing that. We are banning plastic, for example. Our vendors are all serving up their food in compostable containers. We've got cardboard tents. We've also created an All Together Now Eco Water, which is in a compostable container. So gone are plastic bottles and also single-use cups, for example, plastic straws. You won't find any of that on site. For us, this is an annual thing. We have a 10-year lease. This year, we're starting with 15,000, and we hope to grow maybe to 20 next year. Yeah, we're here to stay.